I'm gonna help you all out because I know you all probably all seen Ride Along 2 since this is a really late review. Sorry about that. But I'm gonna help you out. To not go see this movie, you guys can go to a store and buy three movies that you can go home and watch and you can have a better time watching these movies instead of Ride Along 2. The Martian would be a good, really good pick. Sicario would be a really good pick. And The Walk would be a really good pick. These three movies are out. You can go buy them like I did and you can go home and watch them and not watch Ride Along 2. Ride Along 2. Sorry for the late review, I ain't really am. I was just busy yesterday and everything. I went and saw this movie this morning. And so now, um, I have no school, so let's go see Ride Along 2, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will admit, I probably, when I rewatched the first movie, like when I first watched it, I, can't, I, I reviewed it, I hated that movie. When I rewatched it, I kind of got... I liked it a little more. I just it was funny and everything. It was like one of those movies that got better when you rewatched it. But I haven't seen that movie in a long time. So seeing this movie this time, I was like, this could be good. Let me maybe if I watch it again, I'll like it even more. But for right now, the movie sucks, honestly. This movie's basically about Ice Cube and Kevin Hart. They're buddy buddy cops, whatever, and Kevin Hart's finally a cop. He's a cop. But now he wants to pr promotion, he wants to be an investigator, he wants to be like Ice Cube and be a complete bad a cop not just a regular cop like kevin hart is and so he's about to get married like last movie he was gonna marry her and now this time he is gonna marry her and so dang that's like a long period of time whatever since the last one and so i have to go to miami stop a drug bust and then show ice cube that i can still i can marry your sister like wasn't that the plot of the last movie just in a different situation and kang jong in it whatever guy from hangover i really enjoy this movie I'm sorry. I mean, I know a lot of people are going to be like, Oh, it was really funny. It's probably the best comedy of the year. Ah. Kevin Hart, it's, he has some funny parts, but can you not? Can you guys not admit he's doing the same thing over and over and over? Can you not admit that he is doing the same thing over and over? But it, sometimes it's funny, like The Wedding Ringer, I enjoyed that movie. Right Along 1, it had some funny parts. This one has some funny parts, but overall, crap movie. Guys, Cube playing the same thing he was in the first one, a complete douche. Like, I thought they had a bond after the first one, but nope, that's completely scrap. Nope, they still pretty much hate each other, except for Kevin Hart's trying to be... Buddy, buddy. Now, most of the most most of the biggest jokes are shown in the trailer. Pretty much every action is shown in the trailer. There's a stupid part where he's like referencing GTA, the game, whatever, when he's driving, whatever. It is so stupid. I hated that scene. I did not. I don't see why they had to do that kind of stuff. It, I won't spoil what they do with the game, whatever. But it's stupid. All the jokes fall flat. I didn't really laugh that much. I mean, what I, did I enjoy watching the action scenes? Not really. It just wasn't my movie. Kevin Hart, he's a good screen presence. Ice Cube and them, they have good relationship, I guess. You know, it's the same thing from the last one. Overall, it just wasn't a sequel that we all asked for. I mean, it was just a movie. It was a comedy that came out in January. And this January hasn't been that bad this month. And so this, so I'm going to give this movie a D+. Plus. It's really not worth your time. It's... It's another Kevin Hart movie, pretty much. It's a sequel we all wanted, right? No. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.